All right, we'll have a, a lot of education-related headlines to get to today, including in Tarrant County, where the Back to School Roundup is set to begin in just a few hours. Uh, here are the details for you. They're going to be giving away free school supplies to 10,000 underserved students in grades pre-K through 12. And because of the pandemic, this event will be drive through Registration is closed, so you had to have registered already for today's event, which kicks off, like I said, in just a bit. In Dallas, DISD will be loading up backpacks to give away to students for the upcoming school year. Those backpacks... Will come, backpacks will come with a laptop or Chromebook, earbuds, chargers, and in some cases, hotspots for kids who requested them. Of course, as we continue to talk about students getting ready to go back to school, we can't forget about the tax-free weekend that kicks off today and it goes through Sunday. This morning, we are asking you just how much you plan to spend this year. More than usual, about the same or less. Maybe trying to save some money during this pandemic as we get to Ariel Placencia because it's not everything that is going to be tax-free. It's only certain items that you get the break on. That's right, Mark. Certain items, and we're going to go through all the things that follow under the rules because there are some rules and exceptions to this weekend. But I just want to say this weekend's kind of happening at a good time because there are a lot of people out there who want to save money. And then at the same time, they're in need of a lot of different things because they're trying to transform their homes into an office slash classroom slash family home. So yeah, as I mentioned, this weekend, it kicks off today and it's going to end Sunday. So let's talk about some of these details here. You could save money on a variety of different things. And the general rule here, the item itself has to be less than a hundred bucks to qualify. So remember that. And with that in mind, here are some items you can get tax free this weekend. You can get baby diapers, jeans, most shoes, student backpacks, and then various school supplies like calculators and writing tablets. I should also say that according to the Texas Comptroller's website, cloth and disposable face masks are also exempt from sales tax if you buy them this weekend. Now, unfortunately, computers, software, and textbooks, those are among the things that don't qualify. But on that note, many big retailers are offering at-home learning type sections on their websites that could help you out. So for example, this is the Parent Hub on Best Buy's website that you might find useful. And it lists the technology that you might need as well as some how-to videos, including one on how to optimize your Wi-Fi. All right, back to tax-free weekend for one last quick second. There is something different about this year. You don't have to shop in person at the store to cash in. In an effort to promote social distancing, you can buy qualifying items by ordering online, by telephone, or by mail. There are some rules that apply here, but basically you have to, at the very least, order, pay for the item, and then the seller has to accept the order for immediate shipment before the end of this weekend in order for the item to qualify, even if delivery doesn't happen until after Sunday. So again, there are, of course, still rules and exceptions that apply, and I've got all that information over on our website, WFA.com. Now, when it comes to what people are buying this year, the data is showing that people are kind of staying away from the dressier items, the fancy clothing, which makes sense. A lot of us are working from home. They're sticking to the basics. At the same time, it is showing that some people are kind of holding back on spending just because of all the uncertainty surrounding what the rest of the school year looks like. And Mark, it obviously makes sense. Yeah, and absolutely. Uh, looking at the numbers, about 70% of you trying to be more thrifty this year, saying you plan on spending less than you have in years past. Keep those votes coming. Kara? All right, thank you, Mark. 607, time now for your morning rush. The use of TikTok and WeChat will be banned in the U.S. in 45 days if they are not sold by their Chinese-owned parent companies. President Trump issued the executive orders yesterday. This means Microsoft has to act fast to purchase the popular app. The president set the deadline for September 15th. New York State is suing to dissolve the NRA after top executives were accused of stealing more than $64 million. NRA CEO Wayne LaPierre is accused of misusing charitable donations to support his lifestyle. The NRA has countersued the New York Attorney General. 5,000 University of Texas students will get tested each week to prevent an outbreak on campus. That's according to our partners at the Texas Tribune. Last semester, the New York Times found that UT Austin had the most confirmed COVID cases of any U.S. college. And that's your morning rush. So lawmakers in Washington are hoping to reach a deal soon on a new stimulus package, but they're hitting some roadblocks. Republicans and Democrats remain really far apart on a lot of issues, most notably that weekly $600 boost to people when it comes to your unemployment. Meantime, many families are struggling to pay rent right now, and we just learned in the last half hour the city of Dallas secured more funding to help you out. Nearly $5 million will be available in the coming weeks, and this morning I'm going to show you some other options that you may not know about. A federal ban on evictions designed to help people struggling with pandemic-related unemployment recently expired. Here's what to do if you can't pay rent. First, talk to your landlord about negotiating a payment plan. 
If you live in a federally subsidized home and you've lost some or all of your income, you may qualify for rent reduction. Also, if your landlord's mortgage is backed by the federal government, you may have more time to pay rent. Be honest about your situation and carefully document communication with your landlord. If you can't come to an agreement or aren't able to keep up with a payment plan, your state or city may have assistance available. Here are some resources that can help. Legal FAQ lists rental rights in your area and has letter templates to send to your landlord. The National Low Income Housing Coalition has compiled a document with assistance programs in each state. And if you live in a federally assisted home, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development can put you in touch with a housing counselor. Local charities may also be able to help with emergency housing, food, or other immediate needs. Yeah, and at this point, I mean, there are a lot of people struggling, so don't be embarrassed to reach out.